you know, relevance is an interesting um, word. I think we're fine with relevance, honestly. I think we don't need, if, if we never spent another minute of our energy trying to be relevant, we'd, we'd be fine. Um, and I say that because by virtue of living, being alive in today's world, you are relevant. <laughs> you, you, you speak the language of our culture. It's, it's just part of living in, in it. So you don't have to work too hard at it. I, I, I think it bothers me when uh, worship leaders and musicians are so in tune with what's happening at the Grammys, but couldn't tell you uh, one song that, that um, was sung in the third century or the fourth century. You know, and that's that's troubling to me. So I think as, if you're going to be a worship leader, you ought to know what has the church sung and prayed throughout the centuries as part of their worship. Uh, what about the Magnificat? What about the Benedictus? What about um, the Te Deum? What about all these different songs and prayers that were part of the er of early Christian worship? Do you know them? Are you familiar with their phrases? Um, have you been to other worship uh, experiences outside of your tradition? Several months ago, my wife and I spent a Sunday morning at the Eastern Orthodox Church in town, and we sang an English translation of a liturgy. It's called the Divine Liturgy, but written by John Chrysostom in the 4th century. Unchanged, except for its translation into English. And so, I, I think, are, are you in tune with that? Do you know what it means to be the church, the worshiping church of God? Have you uh, experienced other forms of that worship? Uh, and, and, and most of us, sadly, would say no, but you could tell me what Lady Gaga is singing about. And, and to be honest, I don't care about that. I, 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 um, I, know, I know what styles of music are being used today, and that's all fine, but it's a very minuscule part of our role. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with the righteous standard call of God sort of thing, but I, well, call of God, I, I would say this. Take your vocation seriously. You're not a music leader. You're not a music person. You are a worship leader, and if you are that, then you ought to know what the church has sung and prayed in worship for 2,000 years. Be familiar with it. Be in conversation with the other traditions and understand why they do this and think about why you're doing these things uh, and, and let that influence um, what you say and what you pray and what you sing. Okay, sorry if I was too strong on that. Okay.